In this video, we're gonna take you on a driving tour of Glendale, hit a few of the hot spots, hit a couple of the neighborhoods, and I might even have a special guest for you as well. So stay tuned. What's up everybody, it's Greg Corbett with the AZ Lifestyle Group right here in Glendale, Arizona. If this is your first time to this channel and you're looking to find out everything you need to know about what it's like living in and or moving to the Phoenix metro area, including right here in Glendale, make sure to hit that subscribe button and click the bell so you can be notified whenever we post a new video. We are helping people from all over when it comes to finding the best places and neighborhoods to live here and we absolutely love it. So if you're even thinking about making a move and you need any assistance whatsoever, give us a call, send us a text, shoot us an email, however you want to get a hold of us, we got your back when it comes to moving to the Phoenix Metro. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna cruise through here, and uh, it's it's like a Wednesday morning, so it's dead right now. And obviously, we're the we're in the year of COVID, so you know all the places that used to be, you know, crowded all the time aren't like that. But let's assume that everything maybe goes back to normal. Like this is one of the hottest spots you can find uh, here in Glendale. Uh, obviously, a ton of things going on, a lot of restaurants, shops. Chip, what, what are your experiences here? Like, what are some fun times you've had here? I mean, I've, I've been to uh, the National Championship football game in 2011, so we're dating back nine years ago. Yep. Uh, my mother's uh, an Auburn who, who fan. Is it, who was in that game? Do you oh, remember? it was Auburn, Oregon. Auburn, Oregon. I yep. got Auburn in my blood because of my mother, so it was awesome to see them uh, win that championship here at Cardinal Stadium. Yeah. Um, I've been to a handful of uh, Coyotes games here at the arena, and then in my younger uh, party days, I may have spent some time in this nightlife You're still scene. pretty young. Uh, I, I don't feel it anymore, but no, yeah, thank no, you. <laughs> no more partying? No more partying, All right. no There's, more partying. I, yeah, I mean, I I, I haven't been to uh, any national championship games, but uh, we've, we've done a few of the Cardinals games, done a few of the Coyotes games, and uh, just kind of hung out and had a good time at all, the, I mean, there's tons of restaurants, bars, it's just packed in here with all sorts of fun stuff yeah. to do. Um, and even when the games aren't going on, it's just a great place to bring families and stuff. So, you know, it's very well kept up, looks great. Um, it's just a fun spot. We'll, we'll, yes. we'll, tour, we'll tour a few things with you. Um, all right, Chip, as we go through, like, what do you, what do you think um, would be like good advice or just what would you want to tell people about uh, Westgate, living in Glendale, what are some cool things that you would think people would want to know? Yeah, so I, I guess first off, living here is once you get out to the west side, you're, the cost of living, the cost to purchase a home is a little bit less out here. Yep. It's a little bit lower cost of living, but having lived here my whole life uh, and spent a lot of time on the West Valley, the West Valley didn't have uh, a district like this before. Yep. They didn't have this outdoor retail space. Cardinal Stadium wasn't always here. The Coyotes weren't always here. It was always downtown. Right. Yep. So when all this started to be built in, I think it started broke ground in like around 2003. Westgate opened up in 2005. So now there's this huge attraction and draw here to yeah. have nightlife, restaurants, a place to bring the family and, and catch a game. So I can't believe it's been 15 years already. It's, it's insane. It, it is insane. So. It's awesome to have this on the West Valley. You know, Arizona, the Phoenix metropolitan area has so many great places to live and things to offer. And I, mean, and I know for, for anybody, you know, being an East Valley guy my whole life, um, I know, you know, 
when it when it came to like the Cardinals being out here, it was like, okay, do we want to make the drop? But then as soon as you did it, you're like, hey, it's it's not that bad. It's it's a it's a good time. There's so many great people around here, mm -hmm. and uh, with all the freeways opening up, uh, it's it's made it not too bad. Now the Coyotes games are a little bit trickier for us coming in. Like if we're in a weeknight situation, yeah. you know that's where living out here, if you're a Coyotes fan, is much better than if you're living in the East Valley. But um, it's 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 worth it coming out here for sure. So many cool things opening up. I think just across the way here, they opened up the newest Top Golf. Uh, which is fantastic. If you haven't done Top Golf, that's such a fun thing to do. Have you done Top? top I have golf done yeah. um, done Top Golf. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh, you're a big golfer. That's I'm right. A, I'm a junkie. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> golf junkie. I suck at golf, <laughs> uh, but Top Golf's fun. If you can give me a, give me a couple beers and then give me a golf ball, then I'll have a little more fun with it. And it's nice, like you got these, uh, I won't call them mountains. They're definitely not mountains, but we got cool little rock formations uh, in a lot of the areas that you see. They're, they're cool for hiking. They're great for uh, scenic views and to kind of have in your neighborhood as little backdrops. It just adds a, a cool little, yeah, cool scenery for sure. There's a, uh, that's hole one right there on Legends Golf Course. Hang it right here. You guys, this right here is the epitome of desert landscaping. Maybe a little grass. Come on, guys. Their water bill must be small. <laughs> Very small. All gravel. It's a big corner lot, but hey, to each their own. So then you'll, that next left, you'll go left and then hang another left. But these homes, so the home I grew up in and that my mother still lives in was built in 1996. Um, so a lot of these houses, like, you know, started being built in the mid '90s. But again, like I was saying, but not it's, a bad thing. But it's, they're all very similar in style. Like the HOA requires similar paint. A lot of them are by the same same builder, which is common. So the houses, you know, they they all look very similar. A lot of three car garage in here. Uh, these are these are wider homes. Lar probably larger. What, what would you say size-wise are the range here, Chip? Um, you are, you're like uh, 1,700 to 3,000 square feet in here. Okay, they, they look bigger. Yeah, like my mom's I think is, and then go right right here is 2,000 square feet. And then this house on the corner is the house I, uh, one of the other house I grew up in. They're right there. Blast from the past. Blast from the past. And then, cool story, this house here, one of my groomsmen grew up there. And then this house across the street, one of my other groomsmen grew up in that house. So lots of memories There's on the street. Room. That's cool. Um, but just a pretty neighborhood. I mean, it's, you know, when I was looking at for houses a couple years ago with, uh, we'll just call her my wife. She's not my wife yet, but uh, I didn't really want to live this far west, but just because of my roots here, I considered it. I, I more like to be right in the heart of Phoenix, but you know, Greg, you could probably speak to this too. The more you get outside of like the true heart of Phoenix, like central Phoenix, the more you go east, the more you go west. Uh, your dollar for your house, you, you get more for your money. You can get bigger, you get a three stall garage, there's more, I don't want to say more pools, but you just, your dollar goes further. You get more for your money. And there's, there's just a lot of stuff that like you don't get a chance to see. I've lived here since 93. I've been an agent since 2004. And like, I don't, I mean, I've been through just about every area in Arizona, but like you still can't see everything. Yeah. It's impossible. And there's so many cool spots that like even I haven't been to that, uh, you know, with all my time going all across the valley, like there's so many cool little, little pocket areas that you just uh, uh, never get to see. And that's why, that is the biggest reason why we're trying to do this for you guys is to show you because it's so hard, especially when you're moving in from another state. I mean, even if you're moving within state, like to be able to spend all the time you need to, to look at all these areas yeah. is so hard. And so the goal is to bring it to you yeah. where you can look at it in your living room, on your phone, however you want to do it. But, uh, um, you know, hopefully this, this makes it easier for people who are looking around and like, Hey, what are, you know, if you'd never thought of Glendale before today and you wanted to look at it and now you're like, Hey, that looks pretty cool. Uh, you know, that's the goal. So that's what we're trying to accomplish for you guys. Yeah. All 
All right, guys, so hopefully this video has been helpful for you. Hopefully we were able to tour around, give you a little bit of glimpse on what Glendale might have to offer. If you have any questions or need anything, reach out to us. Let us know how we can help you and guide you when it comes to finding the best places and neighborhoods around Phoenix. Chip, do you have any uh, parting thoughts? No, just, just I just want everybody watching this to realize how many different awesome places there are to live in the Phoenix Metro. Uh, 100%. The possibilities are endless, and I'm really excited to work with Greg and really show you what that's like out here. Yeah, we're going to we're gonna be working our butts off to, to try to keep putting this content out there. We know this is what is the most helpful, and so we're going to do that. So um, anyway, <clears throat> thank you guys for watching. We'll catch you on the next video. Yep, thank you.